What's up, guys? What is up, guys? This is Hatayt Seven RCT, bringing you another stream, not video this time. Stream, continuing with the Castlevania Tober Marathon. Uh, it is cold as hell around here. Uh, it seems we got a little bit of frost around my area, and it's windy as hell. And yeah, we're gonna start. In just a few guys just getting ready some stuff here before I present my ugly mug and the games that we're gonna be doing today now for those of you who come around to the chat uh, you're not gonna be seeing the chat on screen since I'm doing a two system uh, setup where I use my laptop to see you guys come in and drop comments and stuff like that I basically rendered the chat on the live stream basically useless for me so bear in mind that you're gonna be able to leave comments and stuff like that and I will be seeing them uh, within the laptop and I will be answering from there if I got the chance of course so yeah let's let's start off let's start off already I think now as good as ever I'm already running a little bit late so let me get this out of the way here now please guys let me know if by any chance the sound is doing good because i have no idea i mean i do have an idea but i have it on i had it on different settings the last time around for some other stuff that i was doing with coin ops and and uh some front ends emulation front ends and the, and the like so I had the volume settings different and I did not check before going on because I was tweaking some of the stuff that I needed for today's games, of course. Uh, that being said, let me stop my blabbering and welcome you guys to the stream. Um, I am Hotite 7 no. uh, Kidding aside, let's go in. Now, I kind of jumped the gun last time around because I was supposed to do these Castlevanias in order. And I kind of got so hyped and, and so happy playing them that I kind of did one that I wasn't supposed to do last week. So I got into the whole Game Boy Advance Castlevanias. So for this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a little bit of... Actually, I should just start stra straight up with the DS ones because there's a lot of game in that. I should straight up just go into that. Let's go! Last week, we were doing mostly Circle of the Moon. Mario Sorrow. Or Harmony of Distance. I can't remember. I'm, I'm getting so old that I kind of forget stuff. Um, but Mario Sorrow was the one that, uh, of course, after this one, it leads into the whole Dawn of Sorrow from the DS, of course, which is. One of the games that I'm going to be doing today. On the DS side, of course, we got Portrait of Ruin, we have Dawn of Sorrow, and we have Order of the Pleasure. Now, as you can see by the, the video here in the front end, usually the standard setting is this setting that you're looking at right now, which is when you do an emulation on the DS, that's the basic setup. You have the, the top and bottom screen. But I find that to be, I don't know, I like to have more uh, screen real estate. So I was tweaking basically to have the whole screen. You know, basically switch with uh, the analog stick between screens. So that way the visual presentation is a bit better. You get to see everything a bit better instead of divided or a smaller screen. Now, granted, of course, the DS was small to begin with. But, you know, just so it doesn't look boring or it doesn't look kind of funky, I'd rather 
mess around with a setup that looks a bit better. Or at least that's what I'm shooting for. So I'm going to start off things with portrait. Loading game. Loading complete. Now, of course, we still got two more weeks of the marathon. And I will start saying right now that next week is going to get much better. Because we're going to be doing one of the best in the series. One of the best. Not the best. One of the best. And uh, compilation. Oh, there you go. See, this is what I was talking about. I was trying to tweak things so it would run better by me switching bottom and top screen whenever it's needed. Hopefully I won't mess up because some of these games require me to do an input. So let's see how that goes. If it doesn't work, then hell, you know, nothing's lost. At least we get to see a bit better. I always liked the full motion video done on the DS because it was really nicely done when you come to think about the, the, the low res of the screen and how small the screen was but it, it always looked so so beautiful the full motion video on these games. Not only the Castlevania ones of course and uh, RPGs and other games that also had them. So there we have the intro. Let's start getting into this. Let's select the new file here. Here we go. Okay, at least I got the mouse, or mouse cursor here to do this. You don't need to do anything really, but I'd much rather choose an icon here. And maybe do something a little crazy like that. And maybe draw something on it. I can't see it with the skull there, but what the hell. I'm guessing, yeah, this is the skull. <coughs> and please let me know if the sound is good on your side, guys. Get through the chit chat. Okay. 
I didn't recall so much dialogue the first time around I, I played this, but yeah. Okay, here we go, Dracula. Yeah, that's what I want to learn about. Okay. So after that lengthy introduction, got the straight up whip. We don't have any dangly, let's mess around with the whip kind of deal going on here. It's pretty straightforward. A little bit of lag here. I'm getting. I don't know if it's the, if it's the game or the controller input, but. I think it's manageable. We have a standard backdash. And what else? Uh oh. Okay, so we have the map. We're starting out. We gotta remember not to press the left trigger for whatever reason. Uh, let's see what else we have. Got the vampire killer, nothing else. Equip. More relics, I don't know that crap, so, alright. See ya! And I'm assuming there's nothing on this side. Ah, the beautiful music right away. Teamwork. Now shoot. Go away. should have gotten the, the Super NES USB one would have gone really well here but I kind of forgot to bring it out. Of course, the cool part about playing this on the DS ooh, short short, is that you would have your map right there all the time, so that's kind of an advantage. Let me see, should I change... Oh shit, Vampire Killer. Yeah, I'm gonna switch the, the, the 
the whip for the sword. Accessory. I'm guessing she does not have anything. The encyclopedia, of course. That's what the book is for. weapon there. And the gracious save point, which we always need. It's always a good thing. This scene is familiar. Ah, you better start mashing on that damn thing quicker. Ah, damn it. So the head 
card is not for her? Oh, shit. I wonder why it's slowing down on me. I mean, it's not really. Oh, this is a warp. Oh, crap. I don't want to go to another place yet. Chill there for a second. I need to save the game. I know these kind of traps. There you go. That was easy enough. Now the save. Yeah, save is mostly down here. Ouch! Man, the girl here is getting slapped around too much. Now we can go to that warpy thing you think. I cannot go that way because for some reason they do not go. Uh, they don't do a slide. And if I slide this way, I'm not gonna be able to go back, so let's go back to the I'm wondering why is it slowing down like that? It usually does not do that, but hey, go figure. Oh, so I can't go there. Fantastic. So all of that trip was for nothing, because I still can't go there. See if we can go higher on the map. Is because I can't go further up. Okay, hold on here. Got a message. Jonathan. 
still can't hit that cube and I can't go that way because I cannot jump and I cannot jump on top of the character so yeah kind of screwed there but where is it that I can go then? I mean did I miss it? Okay, I gotta think. Think, 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 think. What did I miss that I cannot go back? I'm gonna have to go back to the same place. There's nothing else, only forward. <clears throat> so I gotta keep going this side. Charlotte there, and just keep going the way that I was going, actually. Charlotte. There's nothing else about it. Damn, she's getting smacked too much. I need a different power or something. to be something here. There we go, a new part. Oh, how nice. It displays the names. Exactly what I needed. And I'm still stuck with nowhere to go. Warp didn't want to take me anywhere because I, I don't have like a secondary point to go. Yep, that's it. idea. I'm stumped here. Where was I supposed to go? <sighs> okay. There we go. Oof, simple as that. Jeez.
send me phone messages, guys. Just come on to the chat and tell me whatever you want to say. Weapons, give me power. Come on. Now, for you guys uh, out there, um, I want to mention that very soon, I believe I will be doing some streams using either one or various uh, front ends like for example the ones that I've been covering a lot like coin ops and um, some of the updates that have been going on with those front ends are amazing so I want to kind of show that off I'm in the process of uh, repairing a little issue I have with the computer and once that is done then I'll be able to go full throttle back again uh, not only in content by doing some more, let's call them graphic, uh, graphically intensive games, but yeah. So RCT Gaming is not 100% yet, but we're quite close. training. I don't have 
can't buy none of these, so I might as well just buy two potions. Damn! There you go. So I needed, they needed a lizard tail in order to do a slide. Ain't that a bitch. As uh, Castlevania storylines, this one is pretty, eh, it's pretty far out there. Kind of moving away from the beaten path. And this one, of course, the whole portrait of ruin uh, hinges on the whole finding these paintings, these magical paintings that give this vampire its uh, power. Now that we have a slide movement, now we can actually move to other places. Isn't that nice? There we have the first painting. sword is not really doing much help, even though it's maybe stronger. Yeah, it is kind of, yeah, it's stronger. Fuck it. I'll, I'll just keep that one. The 
cool thing about this. They got the polygonal well, background with uh, that structure in the background is completely 3D. Now, for some reason, I did not notice that the first time around playing it. Of course, it's a small screen, easy to get lost, but yeah. Save point. Even though the music bogged down a little bit. Let's get out of here. I really like the music in this section. Quarter set. Oh, 
up Don't break the China. looking sword on that side and I want that because this short sword is really not doing it for me Sluggish. Yep. Just smacks everything out of the air. Damn, am I getting a lot of clothing? scale. I mean, before on the DS you didn't get to see that well all of these little effects that are printed to the game. But in a much bigger screen, of course, you get to see those more up and close. Like, they're 2D, but when they break down into little pieces, they turn into little polygonal thingies. 
things. The scale and crumble. That's really nice. Look at this one. The amoeba. Kill you! Kill you on the side. Whoa. I know it's not gonna have as much. Yeah, it's not gonna have as much power, but it is a whip. Let me try it out. Oh yeah. Back to OG Castlevania. That is one of the cool things about these modern 2D Castlevanias on the portables is that they, they kind of always gave you the option to choose, you know, with the weapons, to choose what style you like better. You know, the, using the sword a la Symphony of the Night or using whip-based weapons uh, as the OG Castlevania. I kind of like more than whip, to be honest. That is one... That is one bloody jellyfish. amazing thing so far is that I am I've been what like almost an hour in and I still haven't fought a first boss and here we have another transport to go back to the beginning but we're not gonna do that of course Guess who that is for? thing tell me right now how to do it and I did not how the hell 
Dead. I kind of asked for that, to be honest. I really, really asked for that. But it's okay because what we can do is start getting into the next one. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Just finished here. Basically, maybe one hour of playing the Portrait of Ruin. I kind of switched things up a little bit because last week I did some of the stuff that I wasn't supposed to do because I kind of like had more time than I thought that I had available. So I kind of went into the whole Game Boy Advance and DS versions, but I decided to switch the Game Boy Advance versions that were supposed to be this week and get into the DS, which weren't really scheduled. So I did the first one, and now I'm going to go into Dawn of Sorrow, start it up, and around 1 o'clock I will go on a little break. I was telling the people out there that 
as you can see here from this little video the track screen that emulation on a DS usually is basically you know the whole top and bottom screen I didn't want to have that to show that to you guys because it was going to be a very small screen it wasn't going to do it justice I did have the option of doing it one big screen and one small one but for some reason the audio wasn't syncing very well so I started a little late because I was tweaking that for you guys and what I did was I ended up loading game loading complete uh, setting it up with a single screen and just with a press of a button over here on the controller I can switch back and forth between the screens as you can see here that way, at the very least, you guys who are viewing the st uh, stream can see the whole thing without having to look at a partial size or a smaller screen. So yeah, that's what I'm going with. And the music. Now, since you're the first one to give me feedback here, uh, to leave a comment, can you tell me? Because I didn't get to check that, I was running a little late. How is the sound? I mean, voice versus the game sound, because I don't want any of them to be too low or one to be kind of like too loud. So let me know if the sound is good, because the music in these games are extremely important because they're beautiful music and I don't want it to get drowned either by my voice or vice versa. Okay, so I need to input my signature here, which I could use the mouse for. Do something like this. Look at that beauty. Yeah, we're going with that. Now this, of course, Dawn of Sorrow is the sequel to Ariel Sorrow that came out on the Game Boy Advance. This is another divisive title because, of course, it's uh, in a more futuristic setting than <laughs> what Castlevania is supposed to be. So this is, uh, I think, like a year or more later uh, after the events of Area of Sorrow. you got your your laptop in, in good running conditions today actually in the uh, evening I'm gonna be ordering the power supply that I need and the surge protector so I'm hoping that in a few days I'll be fully operational you know back to doing uh, to be able to do the high-end stuff the 4k gaming and streaming and recording and all that stuff I hear, but I cannot see. Somebody must uh, d uh, do a follow or something. Uh, thank you, whoever you are. Hey, prototype, what's going on, man? Gabok in the house. Yeah, you guys are basically catching me playing the second game. Uh, Dawn of Sorrow, and then I'm going to be doing... Uh, was the other one with Shinoa? Ah, I'll show you guys later. 
but I'm gonna be going on for at least a half hour more like up to one one something then I'll take a break come back so I can divide the stream and not make it hugely long because then it takes a long time to upload to YouTube and stuff like that and to edit so yeah but doing good man oh really Aaron playing a lot of Castlevania now yeah I mean with with the years you tend to forget how cool Castlevania Castlevania is but once you get a reminder, you like fall back into it and get into the groove and the stories and the music because the music, something that I cannot talk enough about, the soundtrack, the soundtracks in Castlevania has been from the very beginning, amazing music. And it's, you know, back in the day when Konami gave a shit, you know, when they had people that, talented people that they didn't appreciate as much, nowadays, you know, it's all about the bottom line and all that crap. So let me forward the storyline here because these are pretty heavy in dialogue. But like I was saying before about... You see how nice it looks in a single screen? Without having to worry about the small screen, I just press down on the joystick and I switch between them. It's a much better setup except for, and this is going to be a problem here because here it demands you to do those signs. So I think I'm, I'm setting myself up for trouble but let's hope I can pull it off. Yeah, Prototype is one of our long friends from Puerto Rico known as uh, the Dark Gabok. <laughs> and I know he must be laughing right now, but yeah, Dark Gabok in the guise of prototype. But yeah, he's a cool guy. And hopefully, hopefully Kiddo Cat and and AC Bad Luck is also watching. I know they were gonna be around. Oh my god, if I have to do that freaking thing with the uh, Kurt with the. Uh, how do you call that? I forgot the name of it. The stylus, I am screwed. through the tutorial there of the abilities and all that stuff. Kind of like what I showed you guys with Aria of Sorrow where you have three types. You have the, the one that's a special move that you can move around and, and get depending on the power of the enemy. You have a passive one that's always activated and then you have another one which will raise the stats and stuff like that. And just in case you guys didn't know that Genja Arikado, that's out of card. That's out of card. No, there's, there's nothing else to it. I 
I'm telling you, man, Saikyo, Toa Plan, you know, all of these old school um, arcade um, shoot 'em up makers, they are the shit. And of course, uh, now they're not mentioned as much, but um, these other guys. Uh, Takumi is another one, and I'm, I forget the, the other one. Uh, Raising, Raising and Aiding. Those guys, they they had a fucking shoot 'em up ball on the Dreamcast. Let me see what else. Uh, PlayStation, they had a few. They did so many amazing shoot 'em ups, man. The Psycho, Psycho is top tier. Shop here, get our wares. I can get to the safe point first and foremost. I can't remember which one was the one that you needed to do the signs. I think I that was the first one. I just didn't get to the point probably where I needed to do it. Or it could be Order of Ecclesia with Shinoa. But I'm not, I'm not really sure. I don't know if it was this one, where you had to do those swipes every time you would fight a boss. You would need to, on the bottom screen, do one of those swipes in the end. If not, the boss is going to get resurrected with a percentage of his health back. And that is a pain in the ass. Given that I have to switch, you know, from this screen to the bottom screen here, and then do the stuff... Uh, let's see if I can pull it off on time. Or, actually, no. Actually, I, can, I think I can do it right here because I have the cursor on this screen. So, yeah, I might be able to pull it off on this. Now, we officially begin. Now, let's see what ability... The magic seals. Yep. It's on this one. It's definitely on this one. So as soon as I fight a boss, you're going to see me going crazy. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it with, um, with the, the mouse cursor here. Let me keep it on the bottom so it's out of the way or in the corner. But yeah, equip. There you go. This is what I wanted to do. We got a skeleton, armor knight, and golem. This is the passive one. This is the one to use a special move. And let me see. Casual clothes and a knife. Isn't that great? Not really. I don't have any good weapons yet. At least I have the map to call on to whenever 
whatever I needed. I cannot go to the bottom screen yet. Yeah, I have to walk further. Do I have a slide? Yes, I do. Awesome. Let's do this. Have a bone. Remember in the first streams that I said that those eyeballs were a pain in the ass? Now they're much bigger here. Just to make matters worse. And this is our first boss fight, I'm assuming. So here we have the beautiful save room. Thank you very much, because from here is where I intend to start when I come back after the break. That music is freaking awesome, man. Now, I'm not seeing anything on the chat, guys. I had to refresh the page, so... Scribble something so I can see and know that everything is going fine. Okay, hold on. Got a message here. Okay, that was bad luck with tweeting. I guess that's it. I am going to have to go with this alone. And I'll, a magic seal. Dude hanging in the background. Come on, give me some good power here. <clears throat> All right, bad luck. Great timing, dude. You caught me. Basically starting off the second game. I already did the first one. Played for like about an hour. And um, I'm going to be taking a break at around 1, 1 something. Just so I leave enough time for the second stream to play Order of Ecclesia. And just like I explained to Aaron and to uh, Prototype. That was around here also uh, I took a little bit more time coming out to the stream because I was doing this setup as you see right now me switching between screens because before I used to do a small and a big one but I didn't want to do that this time around or have two small screens this way I think you guys can have a better uh, viewing experience and even I playing it it's much better to play on a larger you know full screen so that's about it, buddy. This is really one of the good ones, man. And they they really don't get enough enough of the love either. You know, uh, a lot of people they they get stuck with Symphony of the Night and and some of the classics and stuff. But these were really really good. which kind of blows your mind why they didn't come in this form, in 2D, why they didn't produce more. And even more mind-blowing today, why the hell don't we have a Castlevania on the Switch? You know, a true sequel or something along the lines of this, you know, something that will take the series forward. You know, it, it's proven 3D is good, for Castlevania, but it's not the best. This is the best way to go.
Okay, here we go. The freaking magic seal, which I'm gonna have to do with this thing here. So, wish me luck with this. Because the only problem of having the dual screens like this, switchable, is that I have to do those freaking seals, or if not, you know, the boss is gonna come back after death, and that's not a good thing. Yes, I want to practice. Please, I want to practice. Okay, let's see if it works. Ah! Okay, let's try again. There you go. Okay. I hope it's because with the lag and stuff, I hope that's quick enough. hard-headed. I didn't want to just simply go blindly the other way. I wanted to see if there was anything else that I wanted. At least I know in theory the cursor works. Keep it in the corner there. So I should be able to do all the functional stuff. Like the signs. And a lot of people hated those signs. They said that they didn't, they didn't like that gimmick. Let me tell you, when I got the game the first time, that was one of my, my favorite things. Here, I don't think it's going to be one of my favorite things because, of course, with uh, emulation or most emulation, there's a, a factor, a little factor of uh, lag. I'm hoping that's not the case and I'm able to do it on time. But since I don't think I'm going to be playing all the way to completion, I don't have to worry about the complicated signs. So. Yep, this is the sequel to Aria of Sorrow, where Soma had the first one and the Game Boy Advance. This is the, the only direct sequel that, you know, that is very much implied, you know, this game comes after this one, for some reason. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, no, I don't have to do it yet. After fighting the boss, okay. <clears throat> at least, at the very least, I don't have to switch screens to do it. That had me worried. I'm gonna fight him with bones. Time! Got him! Okay, here we go. Ah! Got him. Yes! I thought I was gonna be too slow with uh, the cursor, but I did it. Of course, that's a way easy boss just to get you 
you know, to practice or whatever, but... Get our magic ball. Now, should I go this way to the save point? And I think that's the appropriate thing right now. Now, from here on out. This, these right here, the ones that I'm playing today, is as modern as we are going to go. Why do I say that? Because these came way after the ones that I'm going to be playing for the next two uh, streams, remaining streams. Because next week is going to be the Venario Symphony of the Night, of course, and maybe Chronicles. And maybe something else that's gonna be a surprise and last but not least hopefully with the freaking butter beer that my lovely lady is going to be making a few days before I go on live butter beer that's gonna be amazing with Castlevania oh, I am going to be enjoying the hell out of Halloween that is for sure there's a claymore up there, which they just put it right there in reach, or almost in reach, but you really can't. Do I have any ability that I can use? I got a short sword. What the hell am I doing with a freaking knife? Flying armor. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. Now I have a claymore. Slower. It is slower, but it packs a freaking wall. So where to here? Yeah. yeah, I gotta go back to Hammer. Hammer, I think, is at the bottom corner, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I even love the sound of the swing. And I got another save point. I love these save points. The more you have, the better. Mace. Should I equip the mace? Is it worth it? Large club. as heavy, but I think it's a little more sluggish than the, than the Claymore. Damn, that hits hard. Yeah, let's go all the way down.
Hey, Kiddo Cat. How's it going, man? Glad you can make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, first and foremost, I'm sorry ahead of time because in a few minutes I'm gonna take a break, which kind of, it's kind of annoying because now that all of you guys are in, I have to tell you, you know what, I'm out. But it's just gonna be for a short while, so I can break up the stream and not have to go crazy, you know, when I upload to YouTube or whatever, you know, just to take a break. I'll continue on the next stream playing from where I left off this one and then the final game is going to be Order of Ecclesia which to me in my humble opinion is the best out of the three available for the DS. A lot of people did not like that game maybe because it was a female pr protagonist which today is like I'm not even going to go there but it was a really incredible game. The whole witch, witchy thing into Castlevania uh, mythos is really, really amazing. And the story and music is beautiful. But I'll deal with that when it comes around. In the time being, we're doing Dawn of Sorrow. Now, since you got here, I will let you know, uh, Kiddo Cat and Bad Luck and Aaron, if you're still there. Yesterday, I was able to install a add-on for the front end that I'm currently using now the most, which is CoinOps. And this add-on adds some more um, PlayStation 3 games. 110. Or 100, like between 107 or 110, and it's amazing. I don't think I'm going to be able to record it yet until I uh, order my power supply, because that's gonna really draw a lot of a lot of power and might shut down my computer. But it works. I ran it and it works beautifully. The, the emulator, the PS3 emulator, is configured perfectly. They run nice, and one of the games that's there is the actual Castlevania uh, Harmony uh, something, which is the one that came out for, I think, Xbox Live and, and PlayStation 3 Online, and it's multiplayer too. It's HD, and you have like the huge map already open. It's really, really cool, and something that I'm going to be focusing on later on, just to give you guys a heads up. With the cutlass, I get a sword. With the claymore, I get a great sword. But I need the ingredients for that, so. Free the soul? What soul am I gonna free? Hell no! I'm not gonna free that. Game. one is 11 but it's a step up is a step above the short sword and to be honest it's more it's quicker so this one is kind of like the standard symphony of the night out of card in terms of reach and speed so this is a good main weapon for now so you start getting like the really tough Mid bosses and stuff. 
And here we got Hammer. It's Hammer time. Listen to that music. That's freaking amazing, dude. see what we got. Potions. I only have a one, 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 one. Okay. Should I make a wish? Castle map, of course. We need one. Ooh, rapier. No, rapier is not already have a claymore spear this one has reach but it's a thousand I'm not gonna spend I could sell my mace though because out of the heavy weapons that's the one that I could live with getting rid of more money more money give me more money so let me get two potions. I got oh, I already got four in stock. Well, that's that's fine. I'll keep that. And anti venom, a curse. Nah, I'm not going for none of that stuff. Just give me potions and mind up because this is gonna be necessary for replenishing for my special attacks, which I love to have. I'm gonna get this because it says no reading. Just as simple as that. And that's about it. That's more than enough for now. So let's see. What do we have? <laughs> and a castle map. Okay. We're doing good. Let's see our map now. Ooh! We have a lot to cover. So let's get going. I still have the skeletons. I need another. I need to capture another soul. So needless to say guys. I will make uh, mention of it here. I know I've already talked with you guys uh, uh, separately, but I have mentioned the, the fact that the guys over at the Discord, you're more than welcome to drop over there and, and grab an invite so you can check out the stuff that they're, they're up to in terms of making add-ons and stuff and front ends. Of course, if you like that stuff, but they have been extremely friendly and very welcoming, which is hard to find nowadays because nowadays, you know, a lot of people are like really, well, let me say it because I do have a setting for mature and you guys are mature people. There are a lot of people full of shit out there and very full of themselves. And, you know, they don't go with the whole elitist thing that they think that they're better than you and they kind of like try to bring you down or make you feel like shit. No, on the contrary, they are very welcoming and they are very interested in what you have to say and what you bring to the table, which, again, is something that's very refreshing given the how things are nowadays. So I am very grateful for the reception that I've gotten there and I hope it lasts for a long time. Now all of them 
I need to mention them by names because I, I don't get to interact with everybody there. But the ones that I do, which is, you know, BP or uh, Britney Pears, the creator of Coin Ops. You also have uh, Full Shop, which is actually the guy in charge of doing stuff for Retro FE, which is uh, the engine that powers the Coin Ops. I need to get away from this freaking demon because... Okay. Now, where do we have to go? To go upwards and then you have of course uh, I can't you have uh, JJ the King 45 who is the guy who made, uh, made the, the front ends that I showed you the Street Fighter one the Mario one and I'm trying to somehow convince him please start working and I will help them whenever uh, you know it's needed to make a build that is completely Nintendo centric only Nintendo platforms from the portables all the way up to the latest home console on Nintendo and hopefully I'll be able to convince him because it's a lot of work so that's another thing to stay tuned to you know that I will be covering that as soon as it materializes. Because that is too good to not cover. And now, uh, BP, the creator of Coin Ops, is building this massive uh, add on for the next iteration of Arcadia. That's going to be even more amazing. I think that if things keep going the way they are right now, I am going to end up changing from my main Hyper Pie, which you guys know has been like the greatest thing like ever for me. I'll be changing to Coin Ops if the progress keeps going the way it is right now. Because it's just so simple to set up and add a controller or a joystick or an arcade stick it's really really cool and I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked I'm pretty hyped about it hold on guys nope nope hang up let me bring down the volume on this so I don't get any more Interruptions. All right. So we're crossing sections here. Damn. able to make it here oh wait is this something no this is I thought it was something I could do with the cursor but no. Killed here. Crap. I hope this is a save point. Nope, it's not. I'm gonna be screwed. And I'm too far away to go back. So this is it. It's crazy, man! Oh, at last! I have something worthier than a freaking bone to throw. Oh, 
I could have summoned a cat, but really? <laughs> uh, no. No thanks. I can't let Nora hear that I'm saying that because if not, she's gonna go batshit, but no freaking cats. There you go. A good axe to the broom. Gotta be shitting me. You have got to be shitting me. I was right there at possibly a door for the save. But you know what? Yeah, I was completely low on health and I did not for some reason. Let me see if it saves. Yeah, it saved. I'm gonna have to walk all that, but I'll do it much quicker. It's good that it happened in a way because I need to go take a break. And I think this is the best way to go about it. So, guys, thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, don't worry about it. There's a second one. Hopefully, some of all of you will be able to come back when I come back at, at this point, should be 1.30, 1.40. I will give a, a heads up before I go live. If not, you just check around at that time. And thanks a lot. I'll see you guys later. This is the end of the first part of the volume three of Castlevania Marathon. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back really soon.